Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski here. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. I'm so happy to be going live with you today here on YouTube. I, I was out of the uh, I was out of the craft slash dining room. I was out of the house for the last three days. And so today I'm back and very happy to be here to create a card with you live. I can see comments coming through. I've got a brand new camera here that I'm looking at. I hope it works. You never know. I think it's working, but it's good to see people popping in. I see Cindy, I see Sandra, Renee, Andrea, Melanie. Oh, it's going fast. You know what? My, uh, Juno's Creations, Lancashire Lass, Christine Crow. Hello, crafty friends, and welcome. So I'm excited about today because I am going to revisit. I'm going to revisit something and try something a little different and mix it up. One of my goals with going live will be to use some of the products I've already used before so that, you know, we can do more with the stamps that we have. And so I'm going to show you the stamps. So let's, let's, uh, let's do the fancy thing and go down to the table, shall we? All right. Brenda, I got a super chat from Brenda Wester. Well, Brenda, thank you so much. That is really kind. People have asked, what is super chat? And super chat is just a thing where you know, you can show your support for my channel. Really appreciate it. Also have to tell you something. Actually, let me, let me see if I can do this. Okay, got to tell you something kind of fun. I got an email from YouTube today and my channel just hit 5 million views. Now that's not, that's not the people, that's not subscribers, but 5 million views. Now that is since I started YouTube, but dudes, that's crazy. I just wanted to say that. All right, we're going to go back to our main camera. Okay, and yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. I have green today in my ink pad so that none of you try to pinch me, okay? Because I don't, you know, we don't want to get pinched. But let's talk really quickly about the products. I am coming back to this brush strokes set from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. I love these, and I've used them in a video that I did with the, uh, oh, I'll show you the card later, with the tedious... Uh, foam placement because I, I haven't done it yet and I haven't sent it out yet. So I want to use this again. I want to pick a different die from in here. I'm going to keep using these because they're new. I have them. They're fabulous. And well, I just want to keep using them. So the first thing I need to do is grab a piece of cardstock. And I don't think I planned well enough because I don't actually have it. Oh, here, right here it is. Okay. Piece of cardstock because we're going to do something fun with one of these stamps today. And let's see here. Let me click on you. There we go. All right. I'm seeing people fed Eugenia, Sherry Ralston, Carrie Doty, Patty Brigham. So nice to see you all joining in today because, you know, it's kind of fun. Kind of like doing this. And I am working out the bugs. Uh, I'm going to let you know I have to get a new laptop computer if I am going to get serious about live streaming because. <laughs> This old laptop that I'm on right now sounds like it's going to take off. And that is, you know what? That's not, that's not what we're doing. Oh, Cindy, good. Cindy got her card. And here's the thing. I am going to give away the other card. And let me show you. I already have the envelope ready to go. This is what I did on a recent live. Do you remember this card? And the foam and how tedious it was. This is still going to be given away. I, I, I'm going to choose from comments on my blog today. I'm going to see if I can do it from the live stream. So we are going to try something a little different. Oh, and I see KC in California. Got Little Lane Crafts with Rachel. Good to see you all popping in. Ellen, hello. Okay, taking out the insert pad, right? Because, well, you know, it's the, it's the Misty. And I'm using red rubber cling. So it's nice and thick. And here's the one I want to do today. I'm going to use this big circle. I really do think these are cool. Um, I love them because, like I said in a past video, I can't, I can't draw like this, right? I can't do mucky muck. And I just think this whole look is so super cool. So I'm just going to center this to the best of my ability, right? Get my other stamps out of the way. And we're going to pick it up with the Misty Door. And we're going to do a little blend. We're going to do a little blend. Uh, yeah, Christine, you know, here's the thing. So I started stamping in, gosh, what year was it? 2017. And you know, I've been scrapbooking. And Janet, 
Janet Tippetts, thank you so much. Holy, wow, Janet, thank you so much. Sorry, I'm getting, super chats are shiny goodness. Okay, I started stamping in 2017, and so there's a lot about stamping, honestly, to me, that is still just as new and just as exciting, and I can't even, I don't know, I can't even believe that I didn't know about this before, and here we are five years later, and I'm still obsessed. Okay. And yeah, that was a huge super chat. You know what? Anyone I appreciate. You guys are awesome. And I just, I just want to say thank you. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I've got my three colors from Simon Says Stamp. I have Sunbeam, Sprout, and Surf. I'm going on the cool side of the rainbow. And I just kind of want to create something a little more blendy. Now here's what I want to do. I want to make sure that my yellow, green, and blue, I always have to do this because this is like math to me. And thank you so much for belated birthday wishes. I, I tend to celebrate my birthday all month, all month long. So, you know, I got it. I got it going on. Okay. This needs to be there. And I have to do that because if I don't do that, I'm not going to be paying attention. Brush. Okay. Need to have a blender brush because I am going to just create a little blend of color across this space. So let's start with the Simon. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's start with the Simon Says Stamp Sunbeam. I just need to wipe that away because I don't, you know, we might have to start again. It's live. You never know what's going to happen, my friends. Okay. Is that good enough? Sure. Okay. Here's what we want to do. We want to ink up here. Try not to drop it this time. Okay. But then I'm going to take a little of this ink here. Oh, Ellen, thank you so much for the super chat. You, you people. You crafty mavens, you little minxes. You're very kind. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of soften it a little like this. Okay, we'll see We'll see what shakes up. All right, well, no big deal. All right, bringing it down, and I'm gonna get my press tool, and let's transfer this. Oh, and yes, this is live. This is actually live. Now I've got a couple different, well, I've got many different types of videos. And hello in Pittsburgh. Fluffy, Oxford, Crawford as well. Sorry, I'm trying to see all these things at once. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Mm. Hey, Kelly Overstar, seeing you there. Now let's try it just a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna just make sure it's nice here. This is a little harder to do when you get to your middle colors because I can't just go direct, direct pad down, right? But I'm softening it down with the, uh, with the thing. Uh, Sandy, it is, what time is it here? It's four o'clock. Well, it's 10 after, eight after four. Time zones, I tell you. They, uh, they, 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 yeah. hmm. Thank you, Kari. Not everyone thinks I'm this amusing. Okay, I am not going to clean that off because I want to move into my next color, which is the sprout, okay? And here's the thing, though. Do I want to do, yeah, I might bring in a smaller brush. Okay, I have all the big size and little size Simon brushes, but because I want to keep Sprout in a more focused area, we're going to load it up. Oh, hello, Susan, and welcome to your first live with me. It's a funny thing. I was talking to, by the way, let's just talk about what I'm doing. I'm just putting color right there. I'm, I'm going to potch on this green, right, with a brush and see what shakes out. I was talking to one of my best friends. I have two best friends. And one of the besties, uh, I was telling her after I went live last time how much fun I had going live here on my channel when I hadn't done it in a really long time, right? Created live. And I said something to her that apparently resonated with her because I said to her, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't all sweaty and, you know, wigged out because I was as curious to see how it was going to shake out as the people watching. And she said to me, dude, that's real smart. And that's just it. It's like part of the creative process is literally discovery, right? It's discovery. And I think if you, ooh, look at that. That does look good. Let's do some more. The discovery of it is is really what's fun. And hello, Winan, Winan Hall. Um, welcome to your first live with me. The discovery is what kills me it, because it is a joy. Even, even if you're going to do something that ends up a hot mess, right? You might learn something that you didn't know before. 
Oh, and I'm so glad, Kathleen, I'm so glad that I have some of my Antipodean friends here today. Because if I go live at noon, the only Australian folks and New Zealand friends are the people with insomnia. <laughs> and so I had hoped to, to do something that was possibly a little more uh, universal, even though I'm making my people across the pond step pretty late. Okay, I'm just going to kind of tap again a little more of that green into the yellow space, bring it down. But I like how this is looking. I like it. Yes, I <laughs> I feel fancy when I use the word Antipodean, but it just means, I believe it means people on the other, who live on the other side of the world. <laughs> That's the story we're going with. Okay, bring it in surf. And now the nice thing about this is that this I, I can go direct to, to the pad to stamp, if you will, direct, because, right, we're, we're getting that in there, this lovely color. But again, I'm going to be softening it out with, with my, uh, with my brush. Now this one, I will use the bigger brush, right? I'm just going to go like that and soften. How many of you do this? Because this is every time I do something, it's like the coolest thing I've ever done, right? And, uh, and yeah, I, again, I, I can't believe how much fun this is. Can we just say that? <gasps> Mira Antipodean, a person from Australia or New Zealand. Thank you. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. I think I'm going to try. Now, the blue looks really good. All right, I've got to get a bigger green brush because what we're going to do is we're just going to try to pump up the green and the overlap. So I can look here on my stamp, right? I mean, see, that's just it. I don't think, and I don't know for sure, I don't know if there is a plan for smaller cubes right now. You know, we're still, we're still releasing new colors and I just am not sure. Ooh, that looks good. See, I love the whole messiness of it. It's very, very fun. And actually, I wonder if that would work. Let's just go, look at that. What if I just did some stripies on there? Huh? Sorry, that was a little loud. And now I'll kind of soften this up. I don't know. What will that look like? Let's let's try it. Really anything goes. All right. And this is what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I think I think we're good. Okay. Uh, is there a reason I chose to ink diagonally? Vicky, you know, I just felt it. I just felt it in my bones. My bones said to me, Kathy, ye must ink diagonally. And so, yeah, that's what, that's what I did. All right. Oh, Kathy, super chat. Well, you are all too kind. I don't even, <laughs> this is, this has been the most lucrative live I've ever done. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. There's actually someone that I watch on, um, one of the few people that I've done super chat with. I think I did one once for Simon Hurley, but I also think I did, there's a guy on YouTube, how, I don't know if any of you know his, him, but his name is Mark Rebier, and I found out about him from my son. I think he kind of blew up during the pandemic. He is an immensely talented, uh, just ridiculously talented musician. Um, if you know who he is, if you know, you know, Okay. And uh, I gave him a super chat once because I thought, dude, you are next level good. Okay, take a look at this, all right? Does anyone know who Mark Rebier is? It's R-E-B-I, wait, Rebier-I-L-L-E-T. -L -L -E I will tell you this, he is profane as the day is long, but oh my gosh, do I laugh? Do I laugh? Do I laugh? Okay, and I do. All right, Stephanie, glad that you're here. And all right, I'm not sure yet if I need to the die cut machine. I was going to use the Gemini, but I can't, I can't do the Gemini because it's off camera. So let's talk about this for a second. Here's what we're going to do. I am going to take another one of these guys from Bold Type, okay? Barbara, different types of ink. Okay, let me tell you. Let's talk about ink while I pick something that, do I want? No, I don't want Best Day ever, I think. 
It's not birthday. I want to do, by the way, Tim Holtz, this is just a brilliant die set. I want to do hello there. Just hello there. Oh, hey, Diane. Hey, Margie. Okay. okay, one of my dearest friends in the world is here, and Margie knows exactly what I'm talking about. And Mark Ribier is so freaking hot, I can't even stand it. Margie, do you think he's hot? Because I, I legit think he is the hottest thing. Okay, so you know how on the last card, right? When I did this card, I'll show you just, just to refresh anybody's memory. Okay, we did, we did foam squares, and that was pretty much the full duration of the live, right? You know, well, you got to go all in sometime. But today I want to take a shortcut. Okay. Here's the shortcut. First things first, I am going to take two pieces of Nina Solar White classic crest in the 110 pound. Okay. I am going to glue these together. Now I'm going to tell you a story once I get going. So I don't forget what I'm doing here, but here's what we're going to do. Take a little tape from Gina K. And I'm actually going to book, well, I guess I'll focus more right up here at the top and less at the bottom, okay? Because I need to remember that when I go to place this. Um, Margie, do you think he's hot? I do. Oh my gosh, I'm so talented. So talented. Okay. Now we're good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it really, uh, it really did take a while. And now I'm just going to line these up. So what I'm giving myself here is simply two layers of cardstock. This is going to be the complete dimension for my letters for my greeting. And here's the thing. I do like to, I like to stack letters. I like to have them going, you know, every which way up high off the, off the card. But really, you know, sometimes you can get away with less and I think it looks just as good and just as interesting. So let me see here and let's, let's get this die. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut two out of two two out at a time. I'm going to use the spell binders. Now, hopefully this is going to work for me. If it doesn't, well, you know, you know what they say. Uh, we may have to, we may have to rethink what we're doing, but I think for now, let's get it out here. Oh, all right. This is my blue spell binders. Okay. And my plates are a little warped. I guess I should probably do the old Jennifer McGuire thing, but, uh, let's, let's give this a whirl. So two together at the same time, I'm going to tape my thing into place before we run it through. I'm also going to angle it because I, well, I, I guess it just, you know, minimizes the speed bump. And also, I don't know if this is true or not, but if you kind of have it more on one side, it might get more pressure, right? Because of where the rollers are as they go through. Does anyone know if that's true? I have no idea, but it makes me sound like I'm smart. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go, oh, it, Pam, R-E-B-I-L-L-E-T, Mark Rebier. And I'm just going to tell you, he is profane as the day is long, but oh my gosh, is he talented and oh, do I laugh. Um, but yeah, if you don't like foul language, do not look him up. But I'll tell you, if you do like foul language, look up his flamingo video. That's what got me hooked. And holy goodness of, yeah. Okay. We're going back and forth a few times because I don't know how this cut's going to be. So look at me. I'm just, <laughs> just cranking it back and forth. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Oh, Donna, you're so sweet. Uh, Wendy Marshall has a question. Wendy, I'm going to tell you, Jennifer McGuire has a great video. Thank you, Lancashire last. That's, that's who he is. Uh, Jennifer has a great video showing how, let's see, did it cut? Ooh, I don't think it did. You know what? I'm going to go run this through uh, my Gemini. I'm going to talk to you the whole time. So look at this ink pad and act like something is really exciting. But um, what was I just talking about? I'm over here now. I got, I got another story for you. Let's run it. Let's run it through the Gemini off camera. I am going to have a Gemini cam someday. If I ever take over my daughter's room, I, I am going to go and literally have one little old used camera devoted to the Gemini cam. Running it through again. And it really depends, you know, you have to use the right die cutting machine for the right system. So let's take a look and see if this worked, okay? 
And we can also talk about Jennifer's plates that I learned. Did that work? Yeah, I think that worked. Okay. I learned about this plate sandwich from Jennifer. And Jennifer McGuire, I think we all know, she's a, she's a goddess among women and a, a dang fine person. But I learned about this plate sandwich from Jennifer. It's two clear Gemini plates and two double-sided plates. I tape them together. The green plates stay on the inside and you only cut into one side. And you can flip this after you've gotten a lot of cuts, okay? Okay, yeah. We're a bunch of sailors in this house, and that we, we always have been, though. Um, it's just how it is. It's, I, it's how I was raised. I have a funny story <laughs> where I say, growing up, I thought my middle name was, or I thought my, I thought my full name was Jesus Christ Kathy, because that's what my parents, that's how they addressed me. Okay. Okay, so we've got our little title here. Now, I can use the other die cut machine. Bring it back in, because here's what we're going to do. We are going to cut some more things out, all right? I'm going to take this little friend here and I'm going to trim it down and I'll tell you what the size is, okay? Uh, I, I know, I, I Kathy Lombard, I think I am going to have to come up with something catchy. Okay, this is going to cut my piece to three and three quarters by five. Yep, so that's the, that's the measurement of the panel. And let's see here. All right, I'm gonna grab this. Hello, Mary in Nebraska. Nice to see you here. Yeah, I'm a, you know, I was raised by sailors and that's okay. And the funny thing is, um, you know, you don't, <laughs> I've reached this point with my parents and I am so lucky that I have, both my parents are still alive. They're in their uh, late eighties. And uh, even now, I, I say things in front of my parents that I didn't even say when I was in, living at home. And my dad doesn't blink, doesn't bat an eye. That's because my father's a sailor. Okay. See? Yes, Sandra, you know exactly. That's what I thought because my parents, trust me, they said that to me all the time. I guess I, I guess I was a challenging child, but, you know, it turned out okay. All right. I'm going to trim this panel down to the preferred size for my card. Okay. Oh, come on through. And you know, I also I also know how to behave. Oh, hello, Shay and Anel. I also know how to behave, you know, around people and not be a sailor. Uh, and I'll tell you why. I learned that by working in the corporate world <laughs> and being a professional. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to do. I have trimmed a guide panel. Okay. And what we're going to do with the guide panel, uh, whoops, and I actually should not have put in the die cut, put, I have not, I should not have put in the die cut machine away. Putting's not a word. I got to bring it back in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that die. Where did I put it? I'm going to take it right here. Okay. We're going to make a template. Mary, mother of God. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm going to take hello there. And I'm going to center this. And because these dies are so well designed, this is gonna this is gonna be beautiful. Hello there, right in the center of this. Because this is the same size, right? Tape it down. I think that looks good, right? Uh, okay. Whew, okay. No, 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 we're good. This is we're all good here, friends. Okay. I'm gonna cut this out so that I can have a template for placing my letters. That's all I'm doing. And it might seem like, well, it, it, did you need to waste a piece of cardstock? My answer is yes. Ugh, yes, I did. Okay, now this one will cut just fine. And now I think I can get my die cut machine out of the way. All right, popping this up. And the other thing too is all these letters, let's see if they come out. Yep, they, they come out. Do you know that trick, right? You just can, oh, a super chat from Jennifer Wallens. Jennifer, thank you so much. You guys, please, I'm embarrassed. It's an embarrassment of riches. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. So thank you very much. You're all very kind. Thank you so much for coming tonight. Good night, everybody. <laughs> okay. All right, let's zoom in. I haven't done any zooming of any kind, so let's do it, shall we? There you go. Can you see all right? Uh, thank you for the compliments on the nails. This is a mani that I did up at the lake. 
Oh, we have a little, now, now first I want to talk about what I'm doing. We have uh, the same size panel. So again, it was, what was it? Let me put it zero, uh, three and three quarters by five, right? Five. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape these together. Okay. Uh, oh, that's okay. My R can stay in the machine because guess what? I'm not using it. <laughs> this is just a guide. Okay. This is just so that I can place my letters perfectly. And let's just hope, let's, let's hope beyond hope that these all popped out. Cause if they didn't, well, I don't even, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's, let's, let's see. Now, sometimes when I'm doing something like this, uh, if I'm popping something out, I like to pop, push it out with a, with a bone folder or something that is not going to, oh, mom of five, thank you so much. I get these, no, oh, friends, you're just, you're, you're, you're being too good to me. Um, I like to pop these things out with, now, you know what? It might not have cut. Did it cut? Come on, let's wiggle it. Okay, we know that worked. Let's get our R out. We know that worked. Maybe I should just focus on the ones that I'm sure came out. Oh yeah, that's coming too. Okay, not so bad. Uh, let's see, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Almost $400 at the chat. Holy crap, I'm gonna go live every single day. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry I have to do this. Let's see, you guys are the best, the best. Okay, let's get back to it, all right. I'm just proud that I learned how to do that. Um, I will tell you something. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kelly, that's hilarious. Um, all right, let's see if we can get these out. I might just have to do some separate die cutting. I don't think they cut all the way through. All right, let's get a let's get a craft knife. Okay. All right, we gotta we're gonna see. Uh, let's see. I don't think this cut all the way through. That's so crazy. And I might have to just do more letters on the side. You know what they say. Do as I do. Actually, we're getting there. And look at that could just be trimmed down like that. Mm. You know, maybe what I should have done, and I don't, um, is I should have used a shim. You know, a shim. Why? Look what I'm doing though. Look at that. That's a technique that I just patented. I just want you to know that. And oh, it worked. Holy buckets. Look at that. Let's try it again. So let's say you're not getting it out do that. It's annoying. People will be like, what are you doing? And then you're going to be like, I am saving the day, my friend. And I don't know. It's very close. <gasps> did we get it? We did. What? Okay. One more. Hmm. You know, maybe it is just an E thing. K. Yeah. Also it, it it's, it is thick cardstock. Uh, this is 110 pound Nina Solar White, but I wanted to have, oh, we're almost there. Yeah, Nancy, holy buckets is what I say because I can't say other things that would be untoward. So, okay. Because <laughs> if I'm alone in the craft slash dining room, it doesn't sound a lot like holy buckets. So here's the thing though. I'm just taking my little craft knife, right? And I'm clean, I'm cleaning it up because I can. Uh, I have exacto knife skills. Super chat from Johanna Ladron de Guavara de Guavara. Oh my gosh, you're so great. You're so great. Thank you so much. I hope I don't miss one, friends. And if I do, I want you to hold me accountable. Okay. Now here's the thing. You can would it have been fast? See, I thought it was saving time. Ugh, you never know. Okay. Let's get our letters and let's take a look at these. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna blow on the table because right now. We have little mucky muck all over the place. Uh, and yes, gracias. Thank you. I wish my, uh, I wish it wasn't too late for my, I have a French person who tunes in sometimes. Her name is Sandra because I'm, I'm working on uh, learning my French. Okay. All right. Let's come over here and let's take a look at, I want to show you another little trick. Boy, I thought this was going to be a quick card. <laughs> I guess nothing's quick. Okay. Hey, the schnauz. I'm so glad that my Australian friends can be here today. Uh, yes, I do know how to use uh, an X-Acto knife. It is in my wheelhouse, although I haven't been using one as much as I used to. 
Uh, uh, I, yeah, since I started card making. So here's the thing. Let's see if it will focus. Yes, it will. So sometimes you're going to get a fuzzy letter, right? And it's just, you know, you're bummed and it doesn't look as clean as possible. Um, just take a dull blade. Now these pen blades, I've had these since my scrapbooking days. They're fantastic because it's, I think it would be hard to hurt myself. Well, I could poke myself in the eye, but sometimes not like on purpose, but sometimes I just will scrape, blow on it and think, you know what? That's going to be fine. That's going to be just fine. That way, if you feel like it's getting a little mucky muck, you know, well, you're going to be okay. All right. We're just doing this before we place the letters because I want to make sure that everything is pretty good to go. I think that's good. I think the E's need a little TLC. And by TLC, I just mean a little attention. And I'm not going to start singing Scrubs. I wish I knew all the words to that song. I do love that song. Love me some TLC. Okay. Now, time to get our Connect Glue. And I have... Bonjour, mon ami. Je m'appelle Catherine. Je prends le français, mais je... That's about as far as I can go. Uh, all right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just glue these in. Okay? And I think... Gosh, I think what I'm going to do is this. Now, this could be crazy or it could be great. Let's let's make sure it's flowing. Do I even have a scrap piece of paper? Well, I have a tissue. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Okay. I am trying not to get glue on other parts of my craft slash dining room. Okay. Let's shoot. I'm having an overflow issue. Okay. I'm just going to put little dots in here. So I'm just, I just did this for a template. Oh, come on now. There we go little dots, right? All through the letters. Boy, this is even easier than what I had envisioned. I had thought about just putting the glue right onto the letters. And right now I can't see any of your comments because I'm so zeroed in. So don't do super chats, please. <laughs> please, you're too kind. Uh, but yes, this is kind of cool. So for anyone who's wondering what glue this is, it's Gina K. Oh, salut à tu. Salut. Uh, ça va? Ça va bien ici. Je suis dans ma maison. Je suis dans la pièce de scrapbook card. I don't know. I'm, I, I do Duolingo every day. I'm on a 60 day streak. I took college or I took French all through high school and college, but never really learned how to speak it. And I would like to learn how to speak it. So thanks for saying this is a nice live. Oh, Emery boards too. Yeah, I have, a, I have a funky thing that I've used before. I'm not going to use it today, but I have a little uh, nail buff. Ça va bien, Eden. Okay, so, well, I don't need to do this. Let's get my... It's almost like bonsoir, bonsoir. Uh, it's almost like a... It's like, if, it's like I can't use my fingers for anything. You know what I mean? Ton atelier de bricolage. Now, what does that mean? Your, I get that, Diane. All right, we're just placing in the inlay, okay? I'm just gonna, we're placing our letters. I just like to let the connect glue kind of sit for a minute to get tacky. I've seen Gina K do that. And I like it when, uh, when she does that, when she just lets it kind of sit and get tacky. This may not work. And here's the, fun, here's the funny thing too. Here, here's my commitment to you for doing these live videos. If something doesn't work, I'm not going to pretend like it is. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if this is a hot mess, we will just call it a cautionary tale and we'll know that we had a good time. Your crafty atelier. Okay. Oh, hey, Gloria. So glad you're here for a live. It's really nice. Bonsoir, tu es un super creative. Ah, merci, merci, be, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Yes, I'm only on the, uh, gosh, I'm, it's so funny because in Duolingo, you say things like there, there is a cow in the garden. Why would there be a cow in the garden? Do you know what I mean? Oh, I think I put that in upside down, but you know what? I think we're going to have to, we're going to have to go for it and keep it. Again, I hope this works. I hope it works. All right, I'm still focused. I'm still achieving. You know, I feel right now like I haven't really done something faster. <laughs> but you know what? I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. And I don't even have any wine. So this is all just, you know, having fun. Okay, 
So once we have these placed, oh, super sticker. Thank you, Victoria. See, there's super chats, there's super sticker. I don't, it's all so amazing. And from at glow dav, you guys, you, and I, I don't mean to say you guys, cause I, I try to not say you guys, cause I feel like it's not inclusive language. How about if I just say, you all are freaking awesome. All right, so we're gonna do this. And we're even going to take a brick and we're just really going to commit this, right? Oh, Duolingo though. I am, I am learning a lot. My husband is, is learning Spanish, has been for a while because he works in a school where uh, there are many, many, uh, many languages. Actually, there are something like, gosh, 20 languages spoken by students at home at his school. And he's trying to get better at Spanish. And Duolingo is really quite quite a thing, isn't it? It really is. Um, all right, here we go. Let's see if it worked. We have no idea, but I do know this. If it does work for our reveal, it will be lined up. Okay. And Jamie, no, you know, no big deal. Don't worry about it. It's all good. You didn't miss much. I'm gluing things down. Okay, let's go. And let's try to say, please stay. Oh, this is just as exciting. <laughs> as the reveal I did the other day. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. This is so working. What? <laughs> Wait, there are sound effects. Let me see if I can find them. Hold on. Sound effects. You ready? I'm gonna do one. <laughs> that actually worked. I, look it. How fun is that? Oh, that is exactly what I would hope to happen. So here's the thing. If you ever have, you know, some sort of word die, right? Cut yourself a template that is the same size as your card. Now this can be used for a card too. I could inlay rainbow colors um, and actually I need to save the gray center, right? Or, but just use this too. I'm not gonna do a card with this right now because I'm working on this one, but there you also have a perfectly positioned card or you could use this as a stencil. Right? Or if you, you know, you did this out of some acetate or something like that, but that is so stinking cute. Oh, I love it. All right, let's make a card base. And I'm gonna grab my big old, let's see, here and here. Yes, okay. All right. So, Barbara, what are you doing here? Oh, it's so nice to see you. Barbara Chirayo, your cards blow my mind. Okay, Barbara, seriously. Everything you do, it's beautiful. <gasps> Cynthia Rock, you are too much. You are all too kind. Please stop being so kind. This is crazy. Hey, Debbie J's Crafty Corner. Okay, I'm going to put on my thing now. And also, uh, I'm assuming for those of you who are watching right now, the picture quality is good, right? It looks good on the screen. Um, I am going to be, as I said, I'm gonna upgrade my laptop so I have a little more speed, and so I can have a few more bells and whistles with my live stream. I'm really committed to this. I'm committed to Thursdays going live. Um, this week I, <laughs> I had a bunch of videos planned because I thought that the Simon Says Stamp release was this week. It's next week. So I have some really good stuff for next week that I'm very excited about, but uh, I had said in a in a chat, oh, I got all this stuff coming for you this week. And th that was a lie. So I was very much looking forward to getting in here. Oops, oh, get out of there and making something today. So, all right. Now, Juno, I'm seeing another language that I don't speak. But yes, we're, we're trying. My daughter is, uh, is learning German. She took French in college as well. Um, but she wants to learn German because there's a lot of, oh, I guess I could take, I'd like to save my tape. There's a, her firm that she works for, I believe, does work in Germany. So, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a USH. Suzanne Ogden, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. You are all so kind. Seriously. Seriously. Woo. Okay. I do need a Mario. <laughs> Gosh, I wish I had a Mario. It's never going to happen. Although, did I tell you in the last live, uh, I have this friend. He's a dear friend. His name is Tim and he is wonderful. He actually has one of the most successful podcasts about Las Vegas. He's an expert on Las Vegas. And he and I used to work together years and years ago. He's a wonderful person. 
he's also like six five. He's the sweetest bear of a man you'll ever meet. And we once said it would be so fun to have him on my lives just in the background doing work. Um, he's the best. Oh, I wish I could. He's so wonderful. Okay. I know this is kind of coming in at dinner time, and I wasn't really uh for some of you who are out east. But again, Australian friends, you know I'm here for you. Uh oh, Kia or Kia Ora. So do you want to hear a fun story? Uh, and that is from Anne. Anne, I am a huge, maybe you knew this or maybe you don't, but one of my favorite, well, my favorite band in the world, Crowded House. I am so obsessed with Neil Finn. I have been for years and years and years. And I think my love for Neil was rekindled when I was in New Zealand when I taught at a scrapbook show in 2006. And that's when I realized Neil is a god and I love Crowded House. And he really is um, underrated, <laughs> grossly underrated. Anyway, I've seen Crowded House three or four times and I saw him and I was in the front row and it was a religious experience, okay? religious. I just love him. And I have a tote bag signed by him and he wrote Kia Ora, Kia Ora on it. And I was very moved. Okay. I'm standing up trying to look over my camera. This is where it gets a little dicey friends. Cause with my new camera set up, I can't see what I'm doing, but we're going to pop this down with a nice, what's that? About a quarter of an inch framing margin space. Just want to make sure I have it in the right place. And we're going to pop that down. Oh, I just got my mic stuck on the camera. <laughs> but look at that. Isn't that fun? Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. Yes, New Zealand. Seeing New Zealand, we drove, we stayed on the north part of the country, up north, and we drove from Auckland to Wellington. And uh, I was with my friend Allie Edwards and Donna Downey. Donna Downey jumped out of a plane in, uh, oh my gosh, where I don't remember where it was, but we went to Rotorua. We went to all these wonderful places and it was all because of scrapbooking, crafting. I was teaching and it was, wow, that, that was the trip of the life of a lifetime. Okay. Let's do some sequence, shall we? The land of the boop. And Barbara, thank you for saying that. Cause you know, I, I am, I am clean and simple, you know, and here's the thing. Oh, let's talk about this real quick. So we have enough dimension, right? You didn't have to just go, right, and stack it all to, to the high heavens, right? I think it works. I think it, oh, we have 500 people here. I'm sorry, I'm kind of freaking out. This is the most people I've ever had watch alive. So thank you. Thank you, all of you. You are, you are goddesses among women, okay, and men and gentlemen, because I don't know how many of my gentlemen friends are here. How many, how many of my gentlemen suitors? <laughs> sorry oh gosh I do have fun though I do have fun so here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna do five and you know it would be nice on, no actually I, I take that back this is really nice on here the silk the the silver I don't think I have this linked and I want you to know I will make sure after the live to update all the supplies because sometimes I have a plan of what I want to use oh hey Shauna I'm so glad I'm so glad um Thank you for what, and thank you for everyone who's watching. Seriously, I don't, my gentlemen callers. <laughs> oh, I just spilt sequins. Um, and there we go. This is just gonna turn into a hot mess. Okay, let's put this to the side. But this particular mix, and I get mine from Simon Says Stamp. There's something about the Majestic Confetti. It has some, how do I explain it? It's like, you can kind of, well, can you see through it? I don't know, it just has an opalescence to it. That's well, I don't know. Let's just let's just let's just move on. I, I'm getting I'm getting too far ahead of myself and I've lost I've lost my train of thought. Okay. You are all very kind, and I also do want to say thank you for embracing me in the card community because you didn't have to. You took a chance on an unknown kid. <laughs> and I love you for it. Okay. But now maybe mm, yeah, I kind of like. I kind of like that arrangement. So we definitely are going with odd numbers. And, you know, I'm going to do some more design videos coming up because I feel like they're very, they can be very helpful um, to talk about card design. I did some in the past where I incorporated scrapbooking and I definitely want to do more in design because that's, that's what I know how to talk about. And here, you know, odd numbers in design are very engaging. Um, 
Not that you can't do even numbers of things. You absolutely can. But there is something that is kind of energizing about an odd number, which is why I so often go with the five sequin combo. It's I do it the same on so many cards. Do I get tired of it? No. Oh, this is boop class. Sorry, I'm, I'm see, I want to teach instead of say the word boop. Let's just finish with a boop. Boop <laughs> for those people who hate it. I can't help it. Boop. But let's get back to the design. Yes, yeah, sorry. I am so sorry. I got I lost my boops. It just gives you this flow, right? You've got this flow of odd numbers, and it's a very pleasing arrangement to have those odd numbers, right? Because, you know, but the silver, <laughs> that's not really, yeah, that's real good design education. It's good, you know, but it is good. It's like having those uneven numbers kind of create excitement and visual interest. Now, let me scrape these into my little container. Love these little bead containers from Simon Says Stamp. You get four in a pack, which is kind of fun because especially if you're doing something with multiple uh, uh, colors of sequins or something, it's kind of cool to have. But I thought it would be fun to stamp on the inside. And it's quarter to five, so I don't feel bad about that at all. I am going to grab, well, now I can't find it. Oh, uh, all right. I, I am testing out a whole bunch of metal magnetic surfaces, okay? And I, I love them all, right? The thing that I love about these, oh, look, it fills almost the whole thing. You can blend on them. You got your magnets. I have this big one from Tonic, which I will need to add to the supplies. And then I have the one from, uh, what is it called? Make Art Station, my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. Now, I could use my... Uh, misty for this, but I'm not going to. Okay, I'm going to open this up. This is what I love it for. If I'm going to stamp with a block, which as you know, I call free range stamping, right? Where, where you're not using a misty. You're just going to use a block. So let's get our block. And I pulled some stamps. Oh my goodness, where did I put them? Okay, sure. I pulled some stamps and this is the set, which I haven't shown a lot. This is called Sassy Insides 2 and I uh, haven't, haven't uh, linked this either. Things like, you've seen me at my worst and been there for me every time. Well, almost every time. I know I can be fairly obnoxious. These are sassy, right? One of them, if I ever tell you that things happen for a reason, please punch me in the face. I'm here for all of it, girl. Um, you never have to pretend everything's okay with me. I mean, you'd never pull it off. You're a terrible actor. Um, thanks for supporting my questionable choices. These are all fun, right? And But the one I'm going to do... I'm here for all of it, girl. So so they're not just all sassy, right? Um, but this, I have, um, I'm going to give this away. But I, I just wanted to say, if I were making this for a friend, I would, uh, I would definitely uh, use this. So, boy, is this block just way too big? It is. Let me grab a smaller one. And yes, I'm going, I'm going no, uh, oh, I like this because I can line it up. Now, sometimes I practice, right? In fact, I don't know if I've used this. So I'm going to show you another tool that I have not uh, linked. But the same lady who makes the Debbie tool is making these leather lined. This is leather. And it's for priming stamps that you haven't used before. You just kind of just kind of rub over it. And, oh, yes, Nancy. Oh, I have stamps, dyes. Girl, I make it all. That That's... Um, I'm, and I design exclusively for Simon Says Stamps. So I'm super lucky that they want to work with me because they are a wonderful company to work for. Okay, I think I'm just going to stamp this in the green so we have a little matchy-matchy. Okay. And I don't know if this will look good, but we're going to do the best we can. I could do a test, but right now I'm feeling, I'm feeling bold. Boop. Hey, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Wait, hold on. Yay. <laughs> okay, I hope that stopped because I have no idea. I have, yeah, okay. Don't stamp upside down. Did I stamp upside down? No, I did it right. Okay. Woo. Okay, you made me. Um, yes. Okay, I'm going to update the links after the video. Um, I just wasn't sure I was what I was going to use today, and I wanted to show you that I actually do stamp on the inside. And yes, Kelly, I tend to uh, 
I tend to boop when I do everything. So again, these are sassy insides too. And within 30 minutes of ending this, um, I'm going to, I'm literally going to go upstairs and add this. I promise it will be quick. Um, I won't, I won't dilly dally. Okay. So taking this out, taking this out. And that is the finished card project. Now let me pop this away. And I am going to give this card away. And I think that I should do it to someone in the chat. And I am going to go back to the top. And I am going to pop someone out here very quickly. Let's go to, how do we do this now? Let's go here and go back to number three or two. Hey, there we go. And then we go like this so you can see the card. Oh, I did figure out how to do my split screen. I'm going to pull out just a little. Nope, not there. Not that one. Well, I guess I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but this is the finished card and I'm so glad that you joined me. I am going to close my eyes and start scrolling backwards through the comments. Okay. I'm not looking. I don't have a Tom. I don't have a Mario. <sighs> I need one this is scrolling and I'm not going to look and I'm going to click and I'm going to just click and drag. I'm going to click and drag. Wait, click and drag. Okay. Um, in the meantime, while I'm doing this, I would like to say to all of you, I so appreciate you coming today and joining in the live. It's super fun for me. And I'm going to pull this out in just a second and get the, Oh, I think I went all the way to the top. Hold on here. I'm scrolling down through comments. And I'm going to click and drag in just a second. And the winner of the card today is, can I get you out there? Pam McClung. Pam, you are the winner of this card. And what I would like you to do is send an email to me at Kathy at kathyzilski.com. Give me your address and I will pop this in the mail. So Congratulations, Pam. I hope that worked okay. I do want to say also to all of you, uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Screwed up again. Let's come back. Okay, there I am. I just wanted to say thank you again for joining. I'm hoping, you know, to work out the bugs here as we go, but I think it was pretty good. I think it was pretty good live today. Now, um, let me scroll all the way to the bottom. I don't know if anyone has any questions for me, Pam. Congratulations. We're going to get you out of there. And again, just email me. And yes, now if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. My goal is to go live every Thursday. And sometimes it might be at this time in the afternoon and sometimes it might be a little earlier in the day. I'd love to do it later in the day because, oh, thank you, Margie. <laughs> Margie, you coming for coffee tomorrow? I don't say that to everyone in the chat, but um, I really enjoyed making this card that was super fun and I love doing this. I love doing this. I don't get out a lot, you know? I mean, Margie can vouch for me. I don't get out. Um, but yes, I'm going to I'm gonna mix it up on times just because I really do like being able to let some of my Australian and New Zealand crafty friends get to join in the lives as well. Of course, I will be continuing with the premieres. Premieres, of course, are a little different. I run the video and I chat with you while the video is premiering but it usually has already been edited. So thanks so much for joining me and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm going to go have Thai food with my daughter. Very much looking forward to that. And again, thank you so much for all the super chats that was not needed and just really warms my heart. I really appreciate you. I appreciate people taking an interest in what I'm creating and sharing. And thank you so, so much. Oh, Pam McClung. It's you, Pam. Pam McClung. You are <laughs> just going to pop you up one more time. Pam, it's you. Click. Hold on. You're the winner. <laughs> There's, you're the Pam. Pam McClung. Pam McClung, Kathy Z. Nice to meet you. All right. I'm going to close out here. And again, thank you so much. Email me, Pam, Kathy at KathySilski.com. And I will see you back here on my channel. I've got, I've got some really fun projects coming Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Don't know if I'll do anything this weekend, but hopefully, hopefully I'll film something. It's hard to say, but uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, it's hard for me to see this thing. It's hard for me to say goodbye. Why do I, da, da, da. do you know that song, Voice to Men? Thank you. All right. I'm going to stop the jibber jabber, but I am going to say this.
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you back here with another card project soon.